On the channel for the Masters of the Universe and the Masterverse, we've got the Meg Foster, Evil Lynn. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another Masters of the Universe, Masterverse unboxing and review. And today on the channel from the He-Man movie, we got the Meg Foster Evil Lynn. But for all your Evil Lynn needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description down below. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We'll do some comparisons in the back half of the video as usual. But this one hot off the truck from Big Bad Toy Store. Looking interesting. The newer style packaging we're getting here in 2024. Small window box going on. A little bit of a different Masters of the Universe logo. More movie-like, I guess you would say. A little bit of movie Skeletor action in the background there. Of course, uh, more scientific spacey i guess in the movie than uh, i imagine the cartoon series back in the day to be i think that's a fair assessment it's like uh, the cartoon but totally different at the same time i guess some of the same characters with new characters as well uh, but an interesting one masterverse logo at the top right there there's old evil lynn looking evil and of course i've talked about it i tried to get my wife she wouldn't co-sign on it instead of emma lynn i wanted to do evil lynn i thought that would have been really really cool to put it like this but for some reason my wife she's so strange she wouldn't let me name our daughter evil would have been cool after evil lynn and of course the great daredevil evil knievel one of the all-time greats Cross cell on the bottom, we've unboxed all those on the channel. Search out those videos if you want to see those. Glamour shot on the back, a little bit of a blurb, a little bit more glamour shots. Let's see what it says about our old friend, Evil Lynn. Uh, she is the evil leader of the Army of Skeletor. After obtaining the Cosmic Key from Gwildor, and we're going to be unboxing Gwildor on the channel as well, so check out that one. Evil Lynn realized too late that he had a second she led Skeletor's force to Earth to capture the second key and prove her worth. So there you go. Now, uh, Meg Foster, Evil Lynn. A bit scary, a bit frightening uh, to a small young Kyle back in the day. Always thought she was kind of a little bit scary. Uh, maybe that's just me. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you're, maybe you're different than I am. But these do pull out. There you go. See you later. Now, people have mentioned uh, in there you get a little contents of use. So if you pull this all the way out, it'll give you a little bit of instruction. So we do have that going on there. Cosmic key, hands. That's pretty much it. See you later. Pretty easy to figure out, I would say. Now, we do get a little parchment paper prison going on. So we're going to pull this stuff out. There we go. A little parchment paper. Can I get it? See you later. Goodbye. And we get two extra hands here with the evil one, the Lin one. And she just got a little bit of uh, artwork on the palm of her hand, on the top, I guess, of her hand. Not the palm, but the top of her hand. Very pinkish purple color hands. Got the maniacal hands going on like this. She's going to be doing a cat impression. Who knows? And then we do get the cosmic key, a very uh, kind of shiny, translucent blue color on this cosmic key. But it's a cosmic key at the end of the day. Uh, looking very good is what it is. And then you get Eva Lynn. Looking only like an Evil Lynn could look if she was in the Masterverse line here at the end of 2023. And she went full tape on the cape. Well, you know how it is. We don't like our tape on our capes, but here we are. Got that going on right there. And got that going on right there. Oh my gosh, get all this off. And then Twist Tie City. You would think she's like a young Todd McFarlane. Oh, there's Todd. He just peeked over his iPad at me. I mentioned his name, he peeks up, but he's not too interested in He-Man. He said that actually if Mattel or anybody came to him to do the He-Man license, he would turn it down, which I think is crazy for McFarlane. I think he could do some good stuff, uh, but he's not interested. He really wants that Marvel property is what he said. He really wants to make Marvel figures. He's hoping one of these days, sooner rather than later, he could finally make that Venom and Spider-Man McFarlane eyes is what he wants to do. We'll see. Maybe we'll get a license from Hasbro one day. See you later. Goodbye, and Evil Lynn is ready to go out of the package. An interesting one. Not super iconic to me as when I think of Evil Lynn, I always go back to the cartoon. I go to other properties. This is probably the last version of Evil Lynn I do think of, but 
It is kind of cool to build out this movie line all these years later. Can't wait for that Courtney Cox figure in the future. That should be a good one as well. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but an interesting look here. I do like the pink color throughout and kind of the, the detailing we see on the, on the top of the hands. We see that on the biceps, the thighs, the chest, all over. Very, very cool uh, paint applications on this one. It is a smaller figure. It is a female figure, so a little bit smaller as you can imagine. But a good base to this one, a good straight off look on her. Going to the head, a very good lightness. I don't think this is a terrible lightness here. It is not too pale. I think they got the color of the skin pretty much point uh, on point right here. I think it does look good. She's got a little bit of like a crown kind of headpiece, headdress going on. A jewel in the middle there. Looking very good. Nice red lipsticks uh, going on there. Very nice. Got a nice ornate kind of collar around her neck. Beautiful cape. We're celebrating cape season like a young Lando Calrissian. We got that going on. Nice, soft goods, black cape. Feeling really, really nice. Then she's got a big old skirt over here in the blue. Even got some decor, some lines uh, on that one as well. Down into her black boots. Big old high boots here. Little studs going on. Looking very good. And even almost has kind of like a Eternia loincloth type thing going on in the front with a little, uh, almost like Roddy Piper hat on his kilt. Almost one of those kind of things. This has got a nice little chest protection right up there, looking good. Forearm protection looking nice as well. Got his snake on the top here. Almost looks like she could be like the Baroness or something. A little snake, very G.I. Joe reminiscent right there. The massive crossover, it's time, it's time. Uh, but articulation, arms do go all the way around. The shoulder piece does move around out of the way for us, that's nice. Uh, you can probably pop the head off here. Yes, you can, and you can remove this whole thing if you want to. And you can put this back on with just the head. Look a little strange with that giraffe neck, but it could be done if uh, that's something you want to do for whatever reason. Or you want to use this cape on somebody else. You could do that at the end of the day. Pop that back into place. Uh, bicep cut. Single jointed elbow. No double joints on this one. Uh, hands back, forth, side to side. Hands removable. Of course, you do get uh, waist articulation. No hula hoop on this one. Head back, forth, side to side. You do get those evil limb splits right there. You do get the leg that goes up, thigh cut, double jointed, tight, pinless knees on her. You also get a boot cut, and then you get the ankles up and down, side to side going on. So looking good in the articulation department, but a little less articulation than the average Masterverse figure. Not sure she needs all that, but it would be nice to have just to be consistent with the line. Of course, does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. What do you know? Fits on the stand. Pretty good there. Pretty good. So Evil Lynn joining up with the Masters of the Universe movie collection right here. And we're not done there. Of course, we got the Skeletor from this line. I think this came out earlier this year, if I'm not mistaken. So we do got that one. And then we do, of course, got He-Man here looking extra good. I am here for He-Man. Now, I cheated on this He-Man a little bit as I put the original head away because, let's be honest, it was a god-awful head sculpt on that He-Man. Looked nothing like Dolph Lundgren, and I think licensing issues got on the way in that one. This head here I did get from Ramen Toys. I bought that Ramen Heads 3-pack. One of my best purchases of the year. I know some people weren't all in. I loved it. I love to use it on my Origin figures and these. I think just an absolute fabulous head sculpt from the Ramen Toys. I even used another one on my Super 7 figure. So absolutely all in. I think that was a beautiful thing. I would love to see more heads like that in the future. I know they got a Falcon one going for the Classified series. But absolutely do love that. But a good Murder's Row lineup right here. I do got Gwildor coming from the Masterverse line, of course. From the Revolution cartoon, of course. But I did grab my Gwildor from Super 7 just for the heck of it. And we have that right here. Uh, looking good here. Oh, Gwildor. I don't know. I think we all would have preferred Orko back in the day. But I'm here for Gwildor all these years later. But a cool thing here. A cool line inside of a line is what this is. And a lot of people have a lot of fond memories for this movie. I don't have as many fond memories as I feel I should. Because I was in the age bracket that should have loved this. It just didn't hit on all cylinders for me even as a little kid. But I can watch it every once in a blue moon and not turn the channel, I guess is what we'll say. But Eva Lynn looking good. Glad to get her in the line. But what say you? Are you picking up this Eva Lynn? Are you all in on this line inside of a line? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. And of course, don't forget about Patreon for early access to both YouTube channels, videos, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As. 
you name it, it's all going down over there in the old Patreon channel. And Patreon, the best way to support this fair YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. And of course, you can all support the channel at PressingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Hit me up. Follow along over at SirPaul64 on the X. B underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the mighty evil Lynn, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.